So do you amend your soil before doing tree plantings? Uh, I don't amend the soil before doing tree plantings. I do soil tests just to find out what the baseline soil chemistry is. If you're trying to grow a tree that likes alkaline soil conditions and the soil conditions are acid, um, you're deciding to plant the wrong kind of tree. If your soil is acid, you should plant acid-loving trees. If your soil is alkaline, you should plant alkaline-loving trees. Um, instead of amending the soil, why not amend your plant choice? Well, that said, we go ahead and we'll plant trees like uh, I'm growing chestnut trees. They would prefer a little bit more acid soil, a little bit less calcium. Well, once I plant them in the ground, they're doing okay. Uh, now I can start to tweak it through the years and kind of nudge it in the direction that I want. Instead of getting stuck on the input bandwagon and how should I amend my soil so it's the perfect soil for my plants, you know, no. Pick the plants that match your soil. Then nudge a little bit to optimize the conditions for your plants. And what you've done is you've just saved a hell of a lot of money because now you're not going to plant a lot of trees that want to die. You don't have to spend hundred zillion dollars amending the soil to turn it into something that these trees that you wanted to plant want. You pick the plants that will grow on your site, and now you nudge it to help optimize their health. You radically minimize your expense. And the example I like to give is uh, almost everybody has seen trees growing right out of the cliffs on the side of the road. There is no soil in the cliff on the side of the road. Uh, trees will, will land in a spot as long as there's enough water that they can actually get by through the, through the years. They will actually create the soil. Their roots will go out. They'll exude um, sugars, various different simple carbohydrates. The root hairs will die back. Bacteria and fungus will get in there. They'll consume this little sugar that the tree deposited. They poop and they pee. They reproduce. They die. All of their excrement in their bodies now becomes food for the trees, and the tree sends out another root, and it stays there this time. Then it sends out another root hair. It's like blowing a balloon of sugar, letting that little balloon go. Everything eats it. Then you go back up and you suck up all the excrement from all the little soil life. Um, all kinds of different um, fabulous stuff on how soil is created. Um, Gary Zimmer and Jerry Bernetti and Elaine Ingham are some of the, I think, my heroes on understanding how soil is created. Because when we're using trees, we don't even need soil. One of the projects I've worked on in Africa, just for kicks, we decided to start this first planting, a first permaculture perennial woody crop planting on solid rock, just to prove a point that trees create soil. You can go to the cliff on the side of Interstate 80 in Pennsylvania, plant trees and create soil. So, and here's a challenge. I've put this out before. Somebody please come up with a five to 10 acre rock in the middle of Lake Superior or Spednik Lake between Maine and Quebec. And I will show you how to farm that. Solid rock in the middle of the lake, we'll farm it. We'll make the soil and farm it. 